All right, everyone. I am entering a small town called El Cenizo. It is a border town. Uh, it is a really fascinating place. Uh, oh, wow. What do we got here? I just got here. Um, well, looks like I'm not going to go there. I just entered the town. I was going to tell you a little bit about it. I uh, drove through here yesterday and it's unlike any place I have ever seen in the United States. Uh, I'm going to have to turn around here. A lot of cross-border activity and illegal drug activity uh, happens here from what I understand. Um, so wow, right off the bat, as soon as I uh, arrive in town. Anyway, I'm going to, well, I guess I'm going to turn around and head in in a different place. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, uh, <laughs> I'm a little farther into town. I actually had police following me there for a little bit. Um, I guess he ran my plates and determined that I was okay. So he uh, pulled away from me, but there's definitely some sort of uh, illegal activity going here because the police are everywhere. Anyway, I'm going to get back to what I was doing. And that is to show you this border town. Uh, I was looking at the... Uh, well, first let me tell you about the times it's been in the national news. A couple of times, uh, 2000s, I want to say 2006, the city was uh, mired in a little bit of controversy because Spanish was the official language. And uh, they backtracked a little bit after getting a lot of criticism and said that they conduct business in Spanish and English here but the reality is 100 percent of the people who live here speak Spanish uh, the city or the town really is uh, 98.9 percent Hispanic and um, a significant percent of these people and I'm talking significant are not here in the country legally now, um, I told you about the cross-border stuff that happens here. That's the Rio Grande. I'm going to go down there later, but it's real easy to cross here. Anyway, more about the town. In 2017, uh, Texas passed uh, SB4, which basically says that it's illegal to be a sanctuary city here in Texas. This little town was the first to file a lawsuit against it and uh, eventually Dallas, San Antonio, Houston, and Austin all joined in. But the town was uh, received a lot of national attention because of that as well. This little town right here. Uh, the wife and I, we had a, about an hour to kill before we could check in our hotel, so and that's in Laredo, which is about 15 miles from here. So we came here just for a laugh to explore, and uh, whoa. Never seen any place in the U.S. like this one. Now I was looking up the numbers of the town. Um, I looked up the latest census figures, which are not are most likely not accurate because from what I understand this town had a very low percentage of census participation so uh, they weren't able to really get accurate numbers the official tally of population here in 2020 was uh, around 2,500 people um, closer probably to 3,300 is what I'm reading now that was formerly 
a grocery store. I think there's a store here. I know there's not any gas stations. Um, we'll take a look at some of the other statistics. The, uh, I think I can go this way. Like I said, I'm trying to avoid all that, um, police activity. Yeah, the per capita income of this town, and this is 2020 census figures, is $9,733 uh, $33 a year. $9,700 a year. That's what the average person here lives on. Uh, median household income is $22,600. Look at that. It has a uh, car wash. Looks like that's a little store there too. Okay. Anyway, um, a number that really stuck out for me is the percent of people here who live here who have graduated high school. Um, it's 40.8 percent. Yeah, just over 40 percent, just shy of 41 percent of the people who live here have graduated high school. Uh, the poverty level officially is uh, 47.5 percent that is very high um, again and it might not be the correct number it might actually be higher because of the low census participation rate the 2000 census actually had poverty here at 68 percent which is astonishing uh, I'm showing you the town though I don't know if it particularly will surprise anyone. This is a very, very poor town. And I'm just driving through the town here. Uh, let me show you on the maps. I'm just kind of cruising along the border here. That's the Rio Grande to the left. Um, Like I said, I will go down there here in a bit. Just want to show you this town. This has got to be one of the poorest towns uh, in the entire country. I was checking the official Facebook page of the town. Uh, there hasn't been a post on it since 2018. This is a basically a Mexican border town that is inside the U.S. Uh, according to the census, the average home value here is fifty-seven thousand. Uh, I checked Zillow, and there is one house for sale here, and they're asking sixty thousand dollars for it. Um, I was reading, I think it was a Texas Monthly article about this town, and it said that the people here have a, a saying, it's in Spanish, of course I can't pronounce it, but basically they say uh, they are not from here, that being the U.S., nor are they from there, that being Mexico. I found that really interesting. They think of themselves, I guess, as living in no man's land is kind of what this place is. Check out a few more of the streets. Yeah, that one's uh That one is done for, isn't it? Yeah. Uh Yeah, I'm just I'm flabbergasted at how much trash I'm seeing. Just uh tossed to the side of the road 
whole field of it here. That's Mexico there in the distance that's not trash strewn. <laughs> yeah, that little valley down there, that's where the river is, the Rio Grande. up this street Elsa is the current mayor. Someone doesn't like her, apparently. Yeah, Elsa Di Gallardo. Look at that house. That's real nice. And this is what you have next door. Dogs, and they're just everywhere. Lots and lots of dogs running around. That's interesting. Getting in the Halloween spirit there. It's a Monday morning at 1020. I want to drive through town for the uh, after the kids got in school. And just show it to you. There's only about five or six streets. I've actually shown you <laughs> the majority of the town right now, except for that main street. I definitely want to show you that. I don't think I'm going to try to head over there. Um, yeah, I'll show you where I'm at. So yeah, you're just looking directly over at the Rio Grande there. We got folks living in all these places. I'm not sure if that is some sort of medical facility or they just sell insurance. Huh. Uh, let's take a look over here. Folks getting ready for Halloween. Look at 
goodness gracious. Looks like that one burned down. those dogs beware of the dog well, they sure didn't act very mean did they <laughs> El Cenizo you may be wondering what that translates into um, I looked it up from what I can tell I guess there are two translations uh, it translates into the unlucky person which I found interesting um, it is also the name uh, or the name of a bush or a shrub that's more commonly known as Texas sage now I'm familiar with that I had two Texas sage bushes in my backyard in uh, suburban Dallas and they're beautiful they're uh, gray with I want to say pinkish flowers I didn't know that that particular shrub or bush was called Canizo or Cenizo whichever it is and anyway somebody who's fluent in Spanish can uh, correct me there I'm only fluent in kitchen Spanish and that's just for those of you who have ever worked in restaurants. Uh, usually a colorful combination of swear words in Spanish. So <laughs> I know all those words really well. Because if you uh, work in a restaurant, especially in Texas, you'll most likely have a Spanish speaking kitchen. Uh, and those guys are usually really cool. Lifelong friends I have gotten uh, in places like restaurants that are Hispanic. Anyway, Las Delicious? I don't know if that's supposed to be a restaurant. It looks like a home. It's got a sign on it. Huh. So I'm just going to kind of cruise through here a little bit. Is that a house? I don't think that's a house. That's something else, isn't it? I'm not sure what. Now the church is going to be here. That's actually quite beautiful. I'm heading down this main street again. Uh, they still got some people there. it down a little bit but I think what I'm going to do is just go around the block here 
Well, maybe I can go through. Let me see. I'll see if I can go through. Okay, I just passed through. It's no big deal. So I'm just going to show you this part of the town and then go into uh, or go down towards the uh, Rio Grande. Um, that is what whatever it is they have as a fire department. They don't have trained firemen. They have some volunteers. That is it. And I was reading it's because the city or the town is unable to afford a fully trained uh, fireman. So they just don't have one. Yeah, let's continue down this way. This is basically the main street of the town. Yeah, and this will go right to the Rio Grande. I'm going to head down there. Now there's City Hall. So, oh, there is a, yeah, there's a restaurant there. I believe that is open. And let me swing around here. That's City Hall. Uh, and the activity center. The mayor here, I read, makes $100 a month. <laughs> It's crazy, the dogs here just run wild. <laughs> uh, he's a barker. Just where I come from in suburban Texas, you will never see that. Dogs have to be on a leash. But here they just run wild. You can see one here. He's just hanging out on the road. But anyway, I'm going to head down here to the Rio Grande. It's right here. That's it. Got a steep little drive here. We've got a guy fishing. I'll just get out and take a look real quick. Yeah. There it is. I'm gonna get out here and get a closer look see. All right, so I'm out here. Uh, there's a guy fishing over there, so I'll just leave him alone. A lot of trash here. Which you hate to see. A couple of dogs. <laughs> Very friendly. Uh, looks like they're looking for some food. Anyway. I don't have any food with me. Uh, yeah, so there on the Mexican side, you can see it's a very thick growth there. But I've read what happens is people will cross here on inner tubes. It's pretty deep here. But yeah, in this spot, this is where Border Patrol catches a lot of people and up that way a ways. I'm surprised there's not any down here. We came down here, the wife and I, yesterday, and there was Border Patrol just parked here. They didn't mess with us. But, um, yeah, except for the trash, it is really beautiful here. It's really a beautiful river. It's too bad so much of it has to be kept away from people. That's the way it is, though. All right, well, uh, I'm going to end the video here then. Just wanted to show you this town because it is a fascinating place, at least to me it was. Really interesting. So, anyway, the next video will be me going from San Ignacio, I think I'm pronouncing that right, up into Laredo, along the border. Another border uh, trail video. So, um, that will be next. Be looking for that one.